tonight's Diamond Dash call. My name is Breezy Bitter. I am so excited. I feel very honored to be here speaking to all of you. And I'm really excited just to share a few insights that have helped me as a coach. And I hope that it will light your guys' fire through this last week of our Diamond Dash group. And I just have to say, I don't care where, where you're at as of today, what failures you've had over the last two months of this Dash group, you guys can still achieve incredible incredible things in just one week. Um, you just have to commit, put in the work, and ultimately believe that it's possible and believe that it's possible for you. So with that, let me just share a little bit about myself for those of you um, that don't know who I am. So my beach body journey started three years ago, about nine months after having my first baby. Um, can you guys hear me? Just making sure everyone can hear me. Okay, just, um, let's see, you guys can hear me? Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna keep on going then. Okay, so like I said, my beach party st journey started about three years ago. I, it was nine months after I had my first baby, a friend asked me to join a challenge group and I was ready for a change. So I jumped in as a discount coach with Turbo Fire and Shakeology. I loved it, lost 10 pounds in 30 days. I was loving how Shakeology was helping me feel. And um, I have Crohn's, it was helping with my Crohn's disease symptoms. So it actually took me nine more months to officially start coaching, get the guts to jump in. And um, I did that in July of 2013. I was five months pregnant with my second little boy. Um, my why behind coaching was not only to share the amazing products that were was helping me manage my Crohn's, losing the baby weight, but also to bring my husband home from his family farming career so that we could build our dreams together and spend more quality time as a family. Um, last year in 2014, I became an elite coach, um, allowing my husband to work part-time at, at the farm this year. And next year, he'll be fully retired from the farm and a full-time coach and dad. And Honestly, we've been so blessed by Beachbody, by this business. Um, I'm passionate about helping others, about helping you guys build your dreams through coaching. So um, I hope that what I share with you tonight can help build on what you've already learned throughout this Dash group and ultimately go back and apply all those things and build those dreams and help you um, get to your whys, your big dreams in this business. So my message tonight... So, what in the world? You guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy by these slides, but just hang with me, trust me on this. So, you guys all signed up for this group for a reason, right? You paid the money, you've been attending the trainings, um, you've been trying to apply what you're learning. Uh, you guys have this genuine desire to be a successful coach, right? We've had some incredible training by amazing coaches who get it. Um, they've been successful, and they're reaching their dreams through coaching. So. How do you guys make that happen for yourself? Because really, you know, diamond, it's just a stepping stone, right? To so much more that coaching offers. So how do you attain those higher ranks? How do you, you know, attain that income, these, this community that you want to build through coaching? What's the secret sauce? That's why you signed up, right? You thought we were going to share our secret sauce with you. So I'm going to share that secret sauce with you guys tonight. It's the basics. That's what it comes down to. Now, don't roll your eyes. I was a coach that sat back and when I heard this concept, I've heard it a million times. It's the basics. It's the basics. It's the basics over and over again as a coach. And I will tell you, it didn't really click with me. Like it didn't literally click in my brain until this spring we were in Cancun on the success club trip. And we went to this elite top 10 panel and you know, Jeff Hill's sitting up there and he's asking these top 10 elite coaches all their best practices. I'm sitting there with my pen and paper. I'm ready for them to just spill all these secrets. And I'm so excited. I'm going to get so much. And you guys, all they talked about was the basics, the three vital behaviors. That is what they emphasized. I was blown away to hear these top, co top coach after top coach share their insights on how simply mastering these simple concepts literally propel their businesses forward to completely new levels. And it wasn't just mastering one or two of the vitals, it was mastering all three of them together that made these coaches successful. 
And these coaches in, emphasize the importance of diving into personal development, making it a part of your life, never missing a workout, sharing that through social media, and never letting up on inviting, recruiting, constantly sharing what you have to offer as a coach. Um, so you guys are probably like, okay, well, you know, that's great. I know what the three vitals are. Like I'm doing them. I'm doing my power hour. Well, it's easy to say that, you know, if you're using the BAT, that's awesome. Like business activity tracker, make sure you're tracking your activities. So you really know, yes, I am doing these behaviors, but it's so important, no matter what stage you get at in your business, whether you're a brand new coach or whether you've been coaching for, you know, five years, it's so important to check yourself. So I want you guys to be honest with yourself. I want you to look at this, ask yourselves these questions. I'm gonna, these questions, I'm gonna read them off to you. I want you guys to be honest with yourself. This, I believe these questions I got from Lindsay Matway um, when I would have my coaches sign up for calls through my scheduling site, I would have them literally ask themselves these questions and do a self-evaluation. Because I'll tell you, if a coach comes to me with a problem, chances are you can dial it back to one of the three vital behaviors and they're struggling with one of them. They're not able, they're not applying one of the three vitals. So what is one activity that I avoid in my business? If you guys have a pen, write this down, answer these questions. What is one area that I waste too much time? What is one excuse that is holding me back right now? Now these three questions right here, they might, you know, you might not answer them like with a three vital behavior, some of them you might, but chances are if one of them ties back to the three vital behaviors or how you're spending your time. Okay, so what is your main motivation to keep pursuing success as a coach? I know if I did blank more that I would be further along in my business. In the last 60 days, I have made blank progress in my personal fitness. And that's always a tough one for people to answer. They're like, oh, let's see. Have I had a transformation? Have I been using the products? Let's see. In the, am I a top, am I on top of my, I am on top of my personal development blank percent of the time. So as you can see, these questions really help you kind of dig deep and really evaluate where you're at. So if you're, if your business isn't moving along, if you're feeling stuck, frustrated, you're unsure, take a second and really check yourself. Are you really doing the behaviors that will, might, that will, that will move your business along, that will move it forward? Um, and are you being the type of coach that you want to attract? Because really, you guys, the three vitals, that's what they're there for. They're there to help you be the best person that you can be. So um, if you're not doing the three vitals, if you're not posting about them consistently on social media, you're not gonna attract those type of people to you. Um, they're vital for a reason. You need to be the best person you can be so that you can share that with your followers. You need to do these things so that you can go out and invite with confidence. Yes, it's still scary to invite, and there's always going to be that element of fear there, but if you're being consistent with those other two vital behaviors, then you have those to back you up in your inviting process and help you with that confidence. So, you know, what's holding you guys back? Be honest with yourself. What's holding you back from doing the basics? Are you letting side projects and little things distract you from doing the three vitals? Are you focusing on just one or two of the three vitals but not doing them all? And um, I want to take a second here and go to this next slide. I want to talk about distractions that we have as coaches. And I'll be honest, I have struggled with these, both of these distractions that I'm going to talk about here a lot. And that's probably why I'm talking to you about them. And my team has struggled because I have struggled. So I'm going to share with you some things that I have learned and applied. So the first one is Facebook scrolling. So stop it. That's my first thing. And this little image, I actually created it a while ago for my team when they were struggling with this Facebook scro scrolling concept and I posted it in our team page. So if they were scrolling, it would pop up in their newsfeed and they would be caught. And I had a couple coaches comment like, oh, you caught me. You know, I was scrolling when I saw this. 
So yes, yeah, someone just commented the use feed um, killer. You can kill your news feed on your computer. I believe it's a Chrome extension. You can kill it and not even use it. You can delete Facebook on your phone so you're not scrolling your news feed and just download the groups on there. So you're focused, you are doing, when you're in there doing your power hour, you are using Facebook as a business tool. And it is, it seriously will change your life. You will find that this business doesn't take hours and hours a day to build if you're really focusing your time. So don't, sc don't scroll your news feed. Don't follow other coaches. If those coaches pop up in your news feed, you'll get caught up in the comparison trap. You'll compare your life to all these other people think you need to be someone that you're not. Just don't do it. Um, it's strategically like and comment on the, you know, the people that you are, that you are, your prospects, your coaches, your team, you can actually make specific Facebook lists, add people to lists, and they show up like on where your groups are on Facebook, and you can just click on those and go through and like all of your team stuff and engage with your team, your clients, your prospects, you can do that. You can be strategic about it, so your time spent on Facebook, you are, you, you are doing your inviting, you are, you know, you're actively in your power hour, you're not getting distracted. Um, and if you guys can cut this, cut this bad habit out and shift all that energy that you've been wasting on your newsfeed and other people's lives like that, and put that time and energy into the three vital behaviors, your business will grow and you will just be happier, I promise you. Okay, the next one is shiny objects. And you guys are probably like, what the heck is shiny objects? So when we were at this elite panel, Melanie Mitchell said, don't get distracted by shiny objects. And what she meant was a shiny object is any tool, idea, post, challenge, whatever that's shared by another coach. Now, there have been many amazing tips and tools in this Diamond Dash group that everyone has shared. But, you know, I'm all about this. I'm all about, you know, taking, you know, positive things, best practices from other coaches and building on it. But the key to, is to remember that there's a time and a season for all things. So just because someone started a blog does not mean you have to go and start a blog. And just because someone started a like page does not mean you need to go start a like page. Um, I actually just got off a call today with um, Melissa McAllister for our Western Region Leaders Call, and she emphasized the same thing. She just barely, like she's been coaching for seven years, and she barely start, you know, started using her like page. But she emphasized that, face, you know, your personal Facebook is where it's at. Don't overcomplicate it. Um, you have so, you know, and don't overcomplicate it that you have so many projects, so many social media outlets going on that it just distracts you from the basics. You don't want that. You don't want to get burnt out on all these other little projects, all these other little side distractions that you're actually not doing your three vital behaviors. You're not doing your power hour. Um, so, you know, with social media, pick two outlets. Start with that. Um, find a challenge group format that you like and stick with it while you gain momentum. Uh, use the majority of your time and energy just to focus on the three vitals. And that that's how you're going to create momentum in your business, you know. You're not... Um, it's, it's great to revamp challenge groups, you know, to get, you know, update things to do stuff. But if you're spending three hours a day working on, you know, some challenge group idea that's going to change the world um, and you're, then you're wondering why your business isn't growing, you need to make sure that you're examining, okay, well, did I do the three vital behaviors today? Am I sitting down and doing my power hour? So make sure that you are doing that. Okay. This is a tool. This is something that... I developed a long time ago for someone on my team that was struggling with prioritizing. And I think that it's so hard, you know, like when we get all these good ideas, you know, a lot of you, most of you on this call, you're entrepreneurs, you're passionate people. You have all these ideas and all these things that you want to do with your life. So I totally get it. I get distracted by shiny objects all the time. Like I have so many things I want to do with my life, but we have to slow down and we have to realize that you know, we're in a season of growth in our business. And if we want to have that growth, we have to focus on the basics. We have to focus on the must do's and we have to do the must do's in order to have this growth. So something that's helped um, me and my team focus, not get distracted is working from a power hour. And this is just basically a form of a power hour. And it's just a concept to really help you compartmentalize the things that need to be done. So um, it's a must do, may do, can do list. And basically, it helps you see what needs to be done first. And I, have, I didn't even look at these. I just grabbed the image. So this can be totally tweaked to what you have. Yes, I will post. I can post this in the group. So 
I'll post those questions too so you guys can use them. So anyway, um, you can tweak this however you want, but it's just basically to help you guys see that those three vitals need to be done first. Your power hour needs to be done first. Um, and this Monday, I don't know if you guys listened, but the team call with uh, the, the bombshell team call with Kim Carver, it was amazing, you guys. Make it a priority. Take 30, it's only a 30 minute call. Go back and listen to it. It will really help you um, push through the end of the year with new, new motivation and vision. Great, great call. Um, I'm gonna re-listen to it because it was that good. So first, or first, so what he talked about was going down and examining your business, seeing the layers or the unnecessary things that have built up over the last months. So um, like I said through this group, you probably got tons of ideas. Now keep those ideas because there's a lot of things there that you're gonna wanna build on and some of them you're gonna wanna use now and some of them you're gonna wanna keep in your, in your storage bank and use them later. But basically what he's saying is you need to remove the unnecessary things that maybe you overcommitted to. Um, and like things that, um, let's see, you, you basically you just need to simplify. Go back to the basics and really have laser focus is what he calls it. Laser focus on these basic things that are going to build your business. And guys, that's the three vital behaviors. That's what this call is all about, the three vital behaviors. Those are the things that you need to have laser focus on. Um, he also talks about asking yourself if you're really doing them. So back to those questions, back to that survey. Are you really showing up as a coach? Um, he said that the three vital behaviors are our platform as coaches. Think about that. It's our platform, you guys. That's what we're all about. We're all about drinking our Shakeology and working out. We're all about um, doing our personal development, being the best people that we can be, and then getting out there and sharing that, inviting people to do the same thing that we do every single day, change lives. And that's what we get to do as coaches. Um, he also, he referenced this, basically the same must do, may do concept mentality, but he referred to it as good, better, and best. So what things in your business could be labeled as good, better, and best? So you could, you could literally make this same must do, may do, can do list and do the good, better, best, same concept. Um, and you know, make sure that you're doing those best things first. The things that are going to move your business forward, do those first. All right. Okay, so. I love this quote by Jim Rohn, and it's been on my desk since I was a new coach. And it says, what is easy to do, it's easy not to do. That's the difference between success and failure. And this is another quote that I probably heard a million times. I looked at it a million times, but it doesn't really click until you realize, oh my heck, I haven't been doing my workouts every day and posting about them. And that really makes a difference on my credibility as a coach. Or, oh my heck, I haven't been doing my personal development and I feel like junk. Like, this doesn't work. I can't go out and talk to people when I don't feel good about myself. Or, oh my heck, I have not been doing my invites. Where are all the people? I can't just make a post and the people come to me? What? No. So, you realize that these little things they're so simple and it feels so good when you do them. Like think about it. You can go to your coach and you have your business activity tracker filled out and you say, yeah, I did my invites this week. I know my workout every day this week. Um, I've been posting the social media and I've been sending out private messages. It feels so good and it's really not much harder than doing not doing it. Because you guys, what's that quote? The, you know, the pain of regret is far worse than the fear of actually doing it. And that is so true. And I know for me, when I look back, I have so much more regret from the things that I didn't do. And it hurts, you guys, that regret, it stinks. I hate it. I hate feeling the feeling that I wasn't my best. I didn't show up. And the three vitals, ultimately, it's showing up for your coaches. You're, you're showing up for them. You're showing them how to be a coach. You're showing up for your clients. You're adding value to them. You're showing them that the programs do work, that Shakeology is amazing. Um, and that's really what it is. It's, you know, you being a coach, and that's what we are. 
So um, it's true, the three vitals are simple, but it's our choice and we have to make that choice to do them daily. And really it just comes down to personal responsibility, being accountable for our actions. Your coach can't do them for you, you have to do them. And by doing them every day, you will become a master of them. And if you struggle with one behavior, study it, you guys. Make it your focus. There are endless webinars and trainings. You guys come from an amazing upline, like incredible. Your coaches are incredible. Go to their YouTube channels. There are so many videos about inviting, about personal development, um, about being proof of the product, an amazing transformation, sticking to your meal plan. You guys, there's no, there's no secret in this business. There's none. There's no secret. They put all this information out there for you guys to take advantage of it. So if you, you're struggling with a, one of the vital behaviors, tell your coach about it. They can help you. They can direct you toward training. Um, the coaches who are succeeding, it's because they're doing the basics every day and they learn to do them well through trial and error. You're not, obviously you're not gonna be perfect. A part of mastering something, you know, obviously it takes time, but how you master something, you show up every day and you do it. And you fail sometimes, you tweak it, and you come back and you do it again. And I'll tell you, I have gone, I have gone in and out of my three vital behaviors. And there's seasons where I, my business is going down because a couple months before or a month before, I wasn't consistent in my three vitals. Right now is one of those months where I'm having a down month because I wasn't consistent in my vital behaviors, you know, a month or two ago. And so now I'm seeing a dip in my business. And like I said, that's where the regret comes in, like, dang it, if I would have just been consistent for those 14 days, you know, like this short amount of time, why did I go out of that? And we kick ourselves. It's so much easier just to do it. Um, and that's how you do it. I mean, how do you master the basics? You just do them every day, no excuses. You know, you don't do it perfect one day, you fall down, you fail, you get back up and you try again the next day. So anyway, this is just a short presentation. That's literally all I have for you guys because it's so simple. It's the three vitals. It's easy to do, but it's easy not to do. And I just want you guys to know that you're amazing. And I know that so many of you are so close to hitting your diamond goal. Um, and I have no doubt that if you guys focus your energy into these three vital behaviors, especially inviting these, this next week, that you'll hit that goal, you'll go beyond diamond, you're gonna be star diamond coaches, build incredible teams. Um, you guys are amazing. So if you guys have any questions, um, I'm happy to answer any questions here for a minute. So feel free to type them in the box if you have them. Okay, thanks for getting on, you guys. Let's see. Okay, oh, for, for turning off Facebook. Okay, so um, on your phones, let's see. Yeah, that's right. So like if you delete Facebook on your phone, you do have to like log in through Safari on your phone to get on Facebook and make the post. And I actually kind of like that because then I don't get sucked into my newsfeed because it's kind of a pain to use it on Safari. So on your phone. So I, yeah, that's the way that I do it. Um, and I like it. I like to have it off my phone because it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. I don't just like brainlessly click on it. So, and I'll share those images. I'll share the question and the must do, may do, can do. And yeah, so you're welcome, Brinley. Star Diamond Coach Brinley. All right, guys, have a fabulous night.